Memorial unveiled this afternoon honoring the lives of the 14 victims and those who survived the San Bernardino terror attack almost seven years ago. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock is live to show us the curtain of courage. Nicole? Well, Pat, this story still leaves behind a very deep wound here in San Bernardino. 14 people were taken from this community and now their families finally have just an incredibly beautiful place to come remember them. Long stemmed yellow roses rest over the nameplates of each of the 14 victims who lost their lives back in 2015 during the San Bernardino terror attack. Benetta Bethel, she was my mother. For Jolene Verdeo, the art installment called The Curtain of Courage provides a place to connect with her mother, a way to honor her life in the city where she lost her. It's just comforting that, you know, I can come back. For Stella Home Asmolesh and her family, sitting down next to the name of her uncle, Isaac Amanios, six and a half years later, feels like coming home. Like he's there and you can just sit there and think and you can feel his presence right there next to you. And I don't know, but it, it's really special to us. We want it to be a celebration of life akin to a small set of chapels, each signifying an individual loss. Walter Hood is the artist who designed the memorial. At a private unveiling ceremony for the victims' families, memorial. survivors, and first responders, he said he wished this was the last tribute of its kind that would need to be built in this country. But as we see in our country, we're facing this more and more and more. But hopefully, coming to places like this, we can be reminded not only of the individuals, but what our duties are to make sure things like this don't happen again. Though it marks a very dark time in San Bernardino's history, when two shooters stormed the Inland Regional Center and fired upon county employees during a meeting, it also presents an opportunity to remember the light their loved ones left behind in this world. It brings back a lot of memories that um, we have and we have created with him. And the memorial opens to the public here at the San Bernardino County Government Center on Monday. Reporting live in San Bernardino, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Nicole, thank you.